Hey everybody, welcome back. We are memory keeping in my planner this week for the week of June 7th through the 13th. And this is an exciting week because I didn't technically graduate this week. I graduated with my master's degree 13 months ago, but this was the week that I finally got to celebrate in person with a big event. Uh, still a socially distanced event to some extent because in California, uh, there were still some restrictions in place as of June 12th, but yeah, we got to have our class of 2020 graduation walk, which was really exciting. So I'm using this kit from Simply a Mess stickers, and it's funny because next week I will also be using a kit from her, and I think this is the first kit I ever used from her. I've used some of her icons and things like that before, but this is the first kit I don't think she sells this one anymore. I bought it last year and I'm really glad that I bought like multiple grad kits last year because I didn't see anybody really selling them this year, at least not the people I follow. So I really love the yay balloons. I bought myself class of 2020 balloons last year and did a little photo shoot in my backyard uh, last year. So I was really into the balloons last year, especially because there was no in-person graduation event. So yes, I earned my master's degree in English last year, and now I teach English, well, it's a composition. There's a lot of different facets of teaching English, and I teach college writing. That's what I do now with my master's degree, and that was the intention going into it. Uh, the path to completing that was in somewhat different than what I originally thought it was going to look like when I went into it. But um, at the same time, like a lot of it looked like what I had expected. There was, there was a lot of work that went into it. And overall, I'm really happy that I went back to school and got this degree and changed my career path. So really happy with that. For my master's project, I actually didn't focus it on teaching. I could have on pedagogy or um, composition studies, but I actually focused on Victorian literature because that's another uh, facet of my uh, interest in English. So I wrote about two of Elizabeth Gaskell's novels for my master's project last year and looked at how uh, objects that came from the British colonies, uh, specifically India, were viewed by British people back in the homeland and, you know, they were fascinated with them but also fearful of these colonized people themselves. So a lot of interesting things going on there. Um, I think it's really important to look at older literature through that type of lens nowadays. You know, I'm always going to love quote-unquote classic literature but I think it's important to kind of shine a light on what was going on either consciously or behind the scenes as well that impacted people who weren't British or weren't French or weren't Spanish and weren't in control of that. So I'm, I'm interested in that type of thing. Anyway, so now I have all my full boxes and glitter headers in and I decided to use some foil overlays for the first time ever. I've never used these before. Uh, I won't be using them like every week just for really special occasions but these four are from a shop called Beautiful Mess Plans Co. and I was quite nervous about using them. I bought them like a year ago and didn't use them for anything. I was saving them for a special occasion and was quite nervous about using them because I thought I was going to make them crooked or not line them up correctly, but I actually put them down nicely and uh, it's a nice little touch. I really like gold, so having it in here is pretty nice. Then I put the weekend banner in because why not? And then I brought in some date dots from a Cinderella paper kit that I didn't use. Uh, she includes date dots in all of her ultimate kits. So I have them left over. And then I have this Michael's washi that I bought last year. Um, I had a whole tube of class of 2020 washi and there's really no other time to use it except for class of 2020 related things. So I decided to just go all out and put it along the top and it also has gold foil. So that's nice. So then now we can get into what I actually planned this week or recorded instead of planned ahead. Uh, I put in the two habit trackers from the kit for checking on my plants and for tracking if I went outside 
And then I put in a half box with this stay home girl from Cinderella paper to track that it was week 65 of staying home. I just have one of those left at this point, which kind of nicely lines up with our June 15th quote unquote reopening the economy here in California. I'm really not sure what's going on. I'm still going to be somewhat cautious. Yeah. And then I put in the weekly box and the this week header to write in what dinners we had this week because there were I didn't get the, the little things for this kit. So I just used the weekly sidebar. So let's get into some weekly plans. So on Monday, I had to submit a final plan for fall semester because I was doing that training course on re-entering the classroom in the fall. So I put in a half box or more like a third box and this Molly from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. on the laptop. Then I worked out, so I used the barbell from the kit and I washed masks. So I put in a Molly from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. wearing a mask. I'm almost done with that sheet of stickers. Then I pulled stickers for the week prior. So when I do these memory keeping weeks, it's really helpful to, as you can see here, pull all the stickers that you're going to use ahead of filming so that you're not having to find them as you're filming. So I did that on Monday and used another Molly laying in a pile of stickers. Super cute. And then I was decluttering my 2020 photos on my iPhone. So I put it in a phone from Fox and Cactus. And then we were having like June gloom this day, which normally my cat's staring at me, like wondering why I'm talking to myself right now. <laughs> uh, anyway, normally I associate that with the San Francisco Bay Area, but we kind of get it down here too in Southern California in the if you're closer to the coast. So the cat was more snuggly this day. So I marked that with a Molly laying on the couch because it was a little cooler weather, so she wanted to snuggle up next to me, and I started watching Great British Bake Off, the 2019 season. I didn't mark that on Monday, but that is what I did on Monday. It was really nice, just kind of snuggling up with a blanket, watching Bake Off with my cat. Anyway, moving on to Tuesday. I decluttered my 2021 photos, so another phone icon, and then I spent a lot of time decluttering photos on my PC. So I marked that with a wonton and a million sticker on a gold metallic laptop. Sorry, I had to look at my cat. Then I did laundry, so I put in the do the laundry script from the kit, and I edited my plan with me, so I put in a label, and I watched a lot of Great British Bake Off this night, so that wonton and a million sticker, or that sticker's from wonton and a million. Now we're caught up. Wednesday, I just had a lot of little things to do in the morning, so I put in a to-do list uh, from the kit like uploading my plan with me because I was kind of behind. Everything took like way longer than it needed to with my computer on Tuesday. So that's why I didn't go up until later Wednesday. And I also worked out. So I used the workout script from the kit. Um, then I ordered from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. So I used this Black Friday Molly from the shop. I, I am on their PR team. So I have a code for you to save 10% if you want in the description. Uh, I, as part of the PR team, I just get a discount on the stickers. So I still buy them myself, but I just, I get a good discount. That's my incentive. And then I watched more Great British Bake Off. My personal favorite season of that show is 2019. It's the first season I ever watched. And I just feel like the people all became really good friends on that season and they have a really good rapport. So it's, it's a fun season to watch. It's my comfort rewatch. So that wonton and a million sticker is eating some popcorn and watching British Bake Off. <laughs> Thursday was payday for my second job, so I just marked that with uh, an icon from the kit. I had some like water stuck between my nails, so it kind of ruined the label, but oh well. And then I put in another Molly kind of peeking over a quarter box because my cat was watching like the most dramatic stuff happening outside the window. So uh, I called it cat TV drama because she was watching like the crows and the mockingbirds in the lot in the yard behind us, like having a war over the land. And then I forget what else was happening. Oh, the dogs were barking in our neighbor's yard. And then they were barking for like an hour. And then someone came out to like shut them up. And this black cat came running out of the bushes. Um, it was wild. So I was joking that it was like an HBO drama, like Game of Thrones style. 
like all these multiple stories going on that my cat was watching. <laughs> uh, then I was getting the house ready by cleaning the kitchen. So that clean kitchen sticker is from the Cinderella paper. My dad was coming to visit for the graduation. So I wanted to make sure the house was clean. And then later that day, I practiced my hair and makeup for Saturday because my undergrad graduation, I kind of looked a mess. I looked okay, but like I did not anticipate how much the, the, the mortar board, the cap, like messes up your hair. So I practiced that. That makeup sticker is from Oh Hello from a million years ago. I don't think you can get it anywhere anymore. That's fine. I never use those makeup stickers, so I'm using them now. And then Friday, I went to Target. I did a drive-up order for like some snacks and things just to have some stuff for the weekend. Uh, so that's all from the kit. I cleaned up the bathroom and such. So I used a cleanup sticker from the kit. And then I did like a really half-done workout. I was not really feeling it this day because I was cleaning, but I kind of did some push-ups or something that day. So I used a wonton and a million sticker for that. And then I did my brows and I put on the nails that you see in this video. So I think that nail sticker is from Vintage Lilac Paper. I don't know where the brow sticker is. Uh, I did a little bit of reading of The Woman in White, so I used the book icon from the kit. And we went over to Nathan's sister's house to celebrate her son's birthday, so that's all from the kit. And then I wanted to mark that it was LA Pride Weekend. Uh, we obviously didn't go because we had other things going on. Uh, I don't even really know what events were happening. I think there were some virtual things with um, like Charlie XCX and people like that. Uh, but that Molly waving a flag is from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. And then we vacuumed and set up the our old futon. And I had to iron one of my stoles for my regalia because it was had a bunch of weird folds in it. So Saturday, we'll get back to in a second, I was just putting this molly on my monthly view. Uh, my dad flew in that morning, so I marked that with an icon from the kit. And then I used a big old half box for the grad walk. Uh, that molly graduating sticker is, of course, from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. We were there for several hours. It was, it was really nice. It was really organized. Um, you were supposed to stay with your two guests, which is what you were allowed and they would sit us like in groups of three, kind of separate from each other. Uh, I did go with somebody else from who I graduated with. Um, we've kept in touch and we have the same job right now. So it was me, my dad, Nathan, and then her and her parents. So it was nice. It was great to get to walk across the stage. Uh, even if there weren't any speeches or anything else, it was just nice to, to have that experience. It was, it was exciting. So after that, we went to lunch. We, went, we got sushi. So that sushi sticker is from the sticker party. And then we went home and all like laid down and took naps. So that sticker is from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. And then, I don't know. Well, we went to dinner that night. And we ended up picking a place, not intentionally, but uh, we found a place where they were playing live jazz. And my, my dad and Nathan are both musicians and very much love music. So it was really fun. It was nice to like sit out on the patio and had a big old patio and just listen to live jazz and eat our food. So I used a wonton and a million sticker. Uh, we did not eat dumplings, but uh, this is the only sticker I had with like a dinner with three people and that's who it was. So that was cool. Then Sunday I marked that we just had breakfast with my dad in the morning. So I have a wonton and a million sticker like sipping coffee. We just picked up some things from the grocery store like some apple turn turnovers and such. And then my brother came to pick up my dad uh, in a van. We have a, we, my parents, have a 15-passenger van because they had a lot of kids. And uh, it has turned kind of into a moving van. And my brother had to drive down to San Diego the day before to move my sister out of her college apartment. My sister drove her car back up home. And then he dropped by my house to pick up my dad. Is that complicated enough? <laughs> so I have this, like wonton and a million sticker with uh, like a wand, uh, some sort of dumpling in a car. That's my brother with his glasses. And then my dad took our old futon because he wanted it to put in the van. I had no idea this was an aspiration of his, but he, that's what he did. So that took that off of our hands, which was really handy. So I marked that with a once more with love boxes sticker. No boxes involved, but I don't know. It's the only moving sticker I had. And then I was super tired, so I used a molly to mark that. 
And then I finished Great British Bake Off, the 2019 season, that evening. So that sticker is also from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. And that rounds out the week. I'm just putting in like the little confetti dots and the deco. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's super cute and also pretty. And I'm just glad that I had an opportunity to actually celebrate uh, my graduation in person to some extent. It was not a normal graduation at all. But it was kind of nice to like walk in line with my guests, even though if it had been a normal time, like I would have had like 10 people here, like all my siblings and my mom and everybody. But, you know, they got to watch from home. It was live streamed. So it was just nice to have something. So thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you next week.